in activity 4.6, which is mathematical modeling, you're going to be putting together trend lines out of Excel. And this is super handy to do um, basically any, any, anywhere in life, um, but especially in the next few activities in the ID unit. So we have our, um, we have our data points here. All right, and I've already pre-typed those in. And this is kind of how you're going to have them typed in. If you notice that uh, your cells here um, is not, it's, it's kind of moving over into the C category. And a lot of you are going to get into trouble when you go to select your um, data set. You're going to do this because you see this, or you're going to have an extra line. And it's going to make the graph that you produce flat because it tries to interpret that differently than what it's supposed to. So the best thing to do is to go ahead and format this and make it look good. So if you come up here and you see how this changes to kind of the bar with the two arrows, go ahead and click and then drag it open. And that will open up your column. And then we can select our data points and we can go up here and say center it. And it just makes our data look a whole lot, a whole lot better. And if we want to get crazy, we can select that and say bold. And then now um, our data is formatted uh, very well. So all we need to do is go ahead, click and drag, select our data, go into insert, click on the scatter charts. And click the first one without the trend line. All right. So once we have that, we want to format it so it makes sense. So there's a couple of things we want to turn in. It's formatted the way we like it. So hit this plus button over here. And we're going to turn on axis titles and the trend line. So then we can go in and we can change this to something that makes sense. Like sales forecast. All right, and then our axis title over here is going to be, and we just double click it. That's how you get that uh, active sales in millions of US dollars. So there's our sales, and let's put the let's put the close parenthesis on that. And then this axis title is obviously years, so we'll type year. And then now we have it formatted in uh, the way that we would prefer. Next thing we need to do, all right, if you've clicked off of this, if you've happened to close this, all right, all you got to do, double click your trend line, all right, but it should still be open. But if you double click your trend line, it's going to open up this. If you don't see, you want to double check that you have linear selected. If you happen to not see this, you're probably off on one of these. You need to be on the bar chart, which uh, is basically your trend line options. Click on the linear. And then you want to go ahead and say display the equation on the chart and display the R squared value on the chart. And this just makes a little text box that we can click on and then drag down. Right? Click back on the trend line. And then we're going to forecast. See here where it says forecast. We want to forecast to 2020. So we're going to forecast forward three because our chart goes through 2017. Forecast forward three periods. Hit enter. And now it's forecasting forward uh, through 2020. Okay. Uh, we can say four there and that will actually update through 2020. Um, and then there's that's our chart. All right. We can take and see predict what we're going to be in 2020. We can see what our sales are exactly going to be in 2020 by putting it into this formula, right? So I can open up a, a uh, calculator, right? And I can say 0.1335 times X. X is in this case is the year 2020. So 2020, all right, minus 625.91. And then our sales for, according to this, the slope of the line should be $3.76 million.